there welcome to my channel in this video I'd like to speak about Saturn transiting the second house of income because for Sagittarius Sagittarius rising Saturn will enter Capricorn and affect your second house of income Saturn enters Capricorn December 2017 and will um, stay there until March 2020 and this will be a time when you learn the value of money but you could also uh, create for yourself a stable financial base and um, it depends a little bit on how you handle it and how um, good you are at taking responsibility when it comes to money and basically working hard but nonetheless you have to um, um, you will also understand at the same time that um, money isn't everything in life but at the same but at the same time you can also understand the true value of money and learn things about self-worth and what is valuable to you might also change a little bit and um, Saturn is about restriction limitation you might make money but you might not feel like they give you um, so much uh, pleasure <laughs> you know so um, in a sense um, this is a time when you learn if you are younger to make more money and Saturn only transits your second house of income twice or three times in a lifetime if you are lucky three times and you learn about value and some of you might during this time lose something of value like leave something behind that has a personal value to you like moving away um, and leaving all your photo albums in another location and you don't have any more you know and it's something that is lost from your past and that can have an emotional value to you on the other hand you could also um, work hard find new ways of making money and um, try things out and if you are very young and so on and, and um, if you have some type of skill or purpose it's good to test your way around because uh, Saturn wants you to learn you know so um, don't be afraid of lack don't be generous anyway you know because um, it creates a bit more abundance and Saturn likes it uh, Saturn likes responsibility and more responsibility as well so um, if you have enough money give some away also help out some organization start a foundation or donate some money somewhere because um, it's the responsible thing to do so um, in general um, Saturn in the second house especially in a sign like Capricorn should be a good transit for you uh, but um, you know all the time don't forget that many other things um, are also valuable and not just money and um, you had your transit through your own sign which which has changed you and you have matured a lot and now you are ready to learn more about um, what the material world is worth and how to manifest value how to create value in this world and this is what Saturn in the second house of income is about and um, so uh, because this energy is so new every time we have a Saturn transit through a new house there are new things to learn and to get accustomed to but it, this could be a great transit if um, you work hard if you are ready if you don't have uh, if you are not too arrogant so to speak about uh, um, you know um, money in general and you are prepared to give everything to work hard to try new things to be humble also about money and your worth you know because you might expect to make a little money to make uh, um, you know just to pay your rent and you might find yourself making lots of them 
you know at the same time you might put in so much work because you feel that it's so important for your survival but you expect the least and you get a lot um, on the other hand as I said you might not always find pleasure in um, in making this uh, or in spending the money that you have but nonetheless it can it can be a good transit for most of you where you you might f learn to appreciate also money if you are younger especially and you have always received money from parents or from other sources and now you create value yourself and it's a learning process for many of you but don't get discouraged you know because you will make it if you are older you will go through some other kind of um, processes that will um, kind of restructure maybe the way you make money teach you new lessons about the value of money and um, about your own self-worth at the same time because uh, when people are not very good at making money they um, they feel like it's it's such a big deal but when you have learned to make money you know that um, if you are wise enough you know that if you have lost them there's a way to making new money you know that you will make it um, in another way and that's what Saturn in the second house is a little bit also about don't be afraid of eventual losses because you can master this energy we came come here to earth with all the tools we have intelligence to learn and to we have energy to work hard and um, we have skills that we have acquired or that we can acquire anytime you know you can find anything any information on the internet and um, we have feelings to to find motivation to to know what we love doing and so on so uh, um, through this purpose that we feel emotionally we can also create value in this uh, on earth so whatever this uh, transit might be about it can cr help you create um, financial stability and uh, base for you or might change the way you you value money but also at the same time your self-worth because if you feel worthless just because you don't have money then you haven't learned um, the lesson of um, having self-worth um, you don't have to own anything you know to have the sense of um, self-worth and um, it's good to develop that <laughs> in yourself you know because money doesn't make you you make the money you know and if you are new at this if you are younger and so on you will understand it through this transit and maybe you will find yourself in a situation where external forces even um, tr conspire to push you in the direction where you can become self-sufficient -su and so on so there will also be until november 8th 2018 a sextile to jupiter in your 12th house and um, there will be a lot of um, mental baggage i would say that will, you'll get rid of and maybe that's what uh, um, how saturn with jupiter will help you uh, change um, in your unconscious mind because sometimes uh, um, making or not making money and so on it's a met matter of uh, um, attitude the attitude that we have um, the idea of uh, what uh, value is about how making money should happen and so on uh, we have mental restrictions and so on and um, also when it comes to self-worth of course um, uh, we also have uh, sometimes it's it's a way of seeing things we see things like that you know I'm, I'm worthless but other people might not see the same uh, just because you have that attitude it doesn't mean that it's real or true and Saturn is about uh, realism also be responsible of course regarding finances and everything um, 
regarding taxes and what you buy and all kinds of things uh, with Saturn you um, responsibility is required otherwise Saturn will pull you down definitely and maybe it won't be easy to rise again or you won't even have the same energy and motivation as you did before and um, it will take a while until you recover so make wise financial um, decisions don't get into debt don't lend money to unscrupulous people uh, don't uh, take loans that you can you don't know if you are going to to be able to pay back you know take what you have and do what you can in the beginning at least until you are sure that you are on the right path and there will also be eventually a trying to uranus first a square then a trine then a square then a trine again to uranus uh, the plant of the unexpected of sudden changes in your six hours of work and health and this could mean sud um, some changes when it comes to work as well and how you do your work and um, there could be some challenges there too but um, they should stimulate you in a new direction and maybe the way you make money or see money even will change dramatically until march 2020 and um, this is all i have to say about this transit i wish you a great transit of saturn through capricorn thank you for watching